Drupal 10.3.1 dropped about a week, two weeks ago now. And there's a brand new module moved out of Core Experimental into Core, but you might want to wait to turn it on. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And yep, Workspaces has finally moved out of Core Experimental and into Core. And it's actually pretty cool. It allows you to build your site with a staging server and a live server for content, which is something that has been really hard to do till this point. But there's a bit of a gotcha. Let's take a look. So I'm over here at a plain vanilla Drupal site and I've turned Workspaces on. And you'll see I've also got workflows on, and this is where the problem lies. There is a potential conflict between these two, so that if you're using workflows to manage the editorial process and then turn workspaces on, it doesn't happen all the time, but there can be database conflict. Now, this is a known problem. There is a patch for it, and a fix is supposedly coming in Drupal 11, which should launch any time now. However, Right now, as of today, there's definitely a problem. Now, Workspaces is cool. I've got it turned on and I have not, and I haven't changed anything. It's just straight out of the box. You have a live workspace and a staging workspace. If I click on stage and click confirm and head over to a node, like my basic page here, I have workflows turned on as well. So I'm gonna edit this in stage and I'm going to change it to draft. And I'm just going to add some text here. And click save. Now, if I go over to live and try to edit that content, I can't because the content is being edited in stage. And yeah, that's kind of how it should be, right? So if I go back to stage now, I can see, you know, my text is there that I added and I'm still in draft mode. And if I click save, now my basic page is in draft mode on staging. And there's actually no latest version tab here because Workspaces works a little differently in conjunction with workflows. So if I go back to live, my basic page is there. If I go back to stage, and then I publish my content. The stage workspace can't be published because it contains one item in an unpublished moderation state. So yeah, this starts to get really confusing. We talked about this at Drupal Camp Asheville last week. The basic idea here is at least at this point, choose one. Most of you probably have got some workflows going. I do. I use workflows on every site that I build. And so for me right now, Workspaces is going to be problematic because of this very confusing interaction between the two. So the recommendation coming out of Drupal Camp Asheville was pick one. If you've already got workflows turned on, then don't enable Workspaces. If you're building a new site and you like the idea of having a stage and a live content environment without the benefit of having different states of your content in workflow and content moderation, well then go ahead and choose workspaces, but probably don't choose both. Well, I can't tell you when we sat around the table at Drupal Camp Asheville trying to figure this out and seeing all the conflicts and the problems. And if you try and uninstall workspaces, it can potentially corrupt your database. It probably needs to come with some kind of disclaimer that tells you to not turn it on if you're going to use workspaces. As I mentioned, there's already a fix in the works in Drupal 11. It's pretty well known and there's a patch available for it if you are interested. But my recommendation at this point is if you have workflow and content moderation turned on, then don't turn on workspaces. All right, well, I hope this has been helpful. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. Thanks for joining me today and we'll see you next time.